Typically, as musicians, we arrive at a venue at about four o'clock and we do the dreaded sound check. We balance the voices and the instruments. It all sounds wonderful. Normally, this is done from the back of the hall with the sound engineer listening to us playing. And then you lot arrive and ruin it. <laughs> you change the way that the sound is reflected in a room and you change the density of the room. Some of you more than others. <laughs> And as I'm mixing my own sound from the front here, I'm changing the levels and the balance and the tone, I spend the first 20 minutes playing on my own, making these little tiny subtle changes to compensate for what you've done. So I thought what I'd do tonight is do the five minute sound check in front of you, uh, then I'm going to walk off, the house lights are going to go out, and you're going to applaud me like it's never happened, okay? <laughs> So the first thing we need to do, uh, everything that I do in Show of Hands does, is based upon the spoken and the sung word, is to get the volume right. You don't want to be too quiet so you're not heard, and you don't want to be so loud it's unpleasant and feeding back. You've got to get a sort of mid-range, da 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 so when you talk and when you sing it's not too loud and it sounds about right. Da 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 that's a good starting point, I can live with that. The next thing is the EQ, in other words the tone. And just like people's uh, stereos or whatever, you've got bass, treble, and middle, bottom, middle, and top. And the dreadful one, the one we all fear, is this one, mid-range. That's this horrible sound there. That's that awful village fate sort of... <laughs> if you care to go over to the Tom Bowler store, <laughs> the vicar will be selling Class A drugs to the scouts. <laughs> but of course, as is his top it's probably the other way. Round. So, <laughs> so you want to get rid of that mid-range, okay? You want to get that horrible honky nails of sound out. You don't want to take too much out, but da 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 da. So we sing, and as I say, normally the sound is balanced from the back, but I'm doing it here. Take that mid-range out. Da 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 da. Sounds okay to me. The next thing is bottom bass. As one gets older, one's voice becomes more manly, and I'm told more sexy. I'm not the one to judge, but. Uh, the bottom end could enhance that. You don't want to overdo it so it starts to boom like that. That's me turning up. But you want a bit of sort of, bit of weight in the sound. Not too much so it booms, but da 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 da. And I'll carry on singing through that. Do -dun -do, -dun do 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 So for me, that's like a good starting point for level, for bottom and for middle. And then the detail. Da 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 da. The treble, which is the top end. Again, you can turn that up. So if you're not careful, it becomes over sibilant. One, two, one, two. And there's a reason why people do the one, two thing. At one time it was Phil and I counting the numbers in the audience, but <laughs> hopefully. Then why would you sound check for that? There's a, there's a logical conundrum there. So, so you want detail, because I, I, I'm quite pleased with my pronunciation. Da 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 two, two, one. But you don't want it to be harsh and trebly. La da 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 I'm just going to take a little bit more out there, put a little bit more bottom on, a little bit more top. Da -dun -da -dun -da. Now, all this depends, by the way, on proximity to these microphones. These are industry standard SM58s. And to my shame, I do see my professional peers singing this far away. Da -dun -da -dun -da -da. It's like we are folk musicians, we're not really using the microphone. Da -da -da. And what happens is the poor old sound engineer has to turn them up, and what comes out is treble, top, and middle. And people say, what a horrible sound that sound engineer is making. Not his fault at all. You've got to get within, I nearly said something awful then, distance of these microphones. So da, you don't want to be kissing them, but about five inches like that. But da, 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 da. So I'm pleased with that. I can live with that. Now the other thing that I can do to the voice, just to enhance it, one final thing, is to add what we call reverberation. And that is to give the voice the effect as if it's in a, a larger room. Two. You can hear it suddenly, da dun da dun da dun da Now I can in increase that if I want to. Uh, one, two, two, one, 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 one. For some of you who live in larger houses. <laughs> Could you pass the salt please, Anna? Certainly, Jeff. da dun da 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 dun da But that's a bit ugly, so I don't want more than a couple of seconds of reverb. This room has got a natural reverberation so I can use a bit of that so that's just there as a detail so now I'm sort of happy with the voice I'm going to turn that reverb off 
La dun da dun da 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 dun do dun do. Might still be a bit harsh on the mid range. Take a little bit more off, and I'll be making little changes. Uh, and then the other thing, of course, I can do the same thing through its own channel to the instrument. I want the volume to be right, not deafening, not too quiet. I want it to be in balance with the voice. And just like the voice, I've got mid range, ugly, horrible sound. Take that down. I've got the bottom end, which gives me that thump, and I've got that detail on the treble. So now I just do as we do in the sound check. Don't need to cry. We always do the same songs every night, just as a reference point. Da dun da dun da dun da, and I can add some reverberation to the instrument. So I pronounce myself happy with that. This is going up on YouTube, by the way. This little clip. Just to make other musicians eat their livers out. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm going to go over there. House lights are going to go out, and you're going to give me a round of applause. Yay.